Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another resin project. So you will notice a different backdrop today. And that is because I'm actually filming in my new craft room. So obviously we have some more work to do, but the desk is finished and my wallpaper wall is finished. We'll be making a resin logo for that wall soon that you'll be able to see. And I am like, for it. But let's get back on topic. Today we are going to be making a Merry Christmas. Dun, dun, dun. Resin piece. So this mold is amazing. I mean look at all those nooks and crannies. There are swirls. There are more swirls. It is thick and sturdy. I have made two of these so far and I absolutely love it. I'm probably going to make at least a couple more. So it is actually a pretty easy mold to work with. So probably I would say this is not quite an intermediate project because it's not necessarily difficult, but it is a little tedious to take all of the resin out of here. So if this is your first resin project, you can totally accomplish it but just be prepared that it's gonna take you a minute, okay? So for this project, you're going to need the mold. I'll leave a link below. You're going to need resin. I use Amazing Clear Cast Resin. These are the small bottles. I also have the giant bottles, but not in here. You're going to need, of course, a respirator and gloves, you guys. It is so important to be safe with resin, so please, please, please wear your proper safety equipment. And don't do it around children and pets. I always go outside in a well-ventilated area so that there's just no chance that my pets even, even smell the fumes. Then you're going to need your heat gun to pop any bubbles. Torches will melt silicone molds. So I always use a heat gun. I get really good results with mine. It's a Wagner HT400. I feel like I have that memorized. And then you need your pigments. So for this project, I used a little bit of white, a little bit of blush, and a clear with rose gold flakes, which is probably my go-to for a little bit of extra shimmer. It's pretty cute. You're gonna need some silicone cups. I usually use silicone stir sticks, but if you don't have any or you run out, because sometimes I don't like to clean my cups on time, you can use popsicle sticks. They're just not reusable. I believe that's everything that you're gonna need. It is a pretty quick and easy project. It doesn't need a lot of supplies. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. If you want the full, full, full supply list with all the links, it'll be down below. So just click on whatever you need and it usually comes pretty quick. Amazon, baby. Let's jump into the project.
y'all. It's finished. I am in love with how this turned out. The resin, I mean, I will put some close-up shots for y'all to see, but the way that it swirled together really gave it like a smoky effect where I put the clear down and then the white behind it. And I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love 90% of what I make, so I feel like that's a little redundant. But this is definitely like top two projects this year. So that's pretty high. <laughs> I definitely like it on the black frame. You can obviously, like this is a resin mold. So you can take this and make whatever you want to make with it. I picked a sign because I just thought it would look really cute above my little letter to Santa sign here. And I have a tutorial for this. This was made last year and it was one of the ones I kept. And that's the thing, like I have an antique shop. I sell a lot of the things I make. So if I keep something, it is like one of my favorites. And I am keeping both of these forever. <laughs> so you can make a sign with this. I've seen them made into wreaths. I've seen them placed like on a bookshelf. I made another one because I loved the mold so much. So I'm gonna make a couple more and we will see exactly what I do with them. But, ta-da! I hope you guys loved it. If you're looking for more resin projects, there will be a few more below or probably right over my face right about now. You can go ahead and click on them. I made a really cute resin wreath this year. It's on a door hanging plaque, so maybe check that out. See you next time. Bye.